Hi, welcome to Austin Zoo. I'm Patty Clark. I'm the President and Executive Director here. I've been here about nine years and love every minute of every day. Uh, they, we currently house about 330 animals representing over 115 different species. And we couldn't do it without the support of our community, our donors, and especially our wonderful animal sponsors um, who support us like Lone Star School of Music. These right. are some of our newest zoo residents. Uh, they are four male ostriches that came to us from a, an ostrich rancher who was culling his herd and did not want to send these birds to slaughter. Um, we uh, have named them Jagger, Richards, Watts, and Wood after the Rolling Stones. Um, what you see this one doing right here, that's uh, Jagger, and he is enjoying some of this wonderful uh, wheat grass that the zookeepers put along the fence. There's um, all down the fence line, you'll see pieces for the um, ostriches to nibble on uh, to keep them enriched. And of course, it's good food for them as well. Frederica, uh, she is 21 years old, which is very, very old for a new moon. And we are in the process now of starting to uh, enlarge this habitat. We'll nearly double it in size. And um, kangaroo Jason, Another one of our rescues will be um, meeting and moving in with Frederica, since they are both, um, they both hail from Australia. We're working here on a new habitat for um, our two newest bobcats. Charlie was, um, came to us on a uh, rabies quarantine after um, he bit a homeowner on the hand in North Austin. The homeowner thought it was a kitten on their porch and unfortunately it was a wild uh, bobcat instead. Um, then Wildlife Rescue in Austin uh, brought us um, another uh, bobcat uh, several months ago who is not releasable in the wild and so we're going to be introducing Emilio and Charlie and they will have a nice new habitat that they can share here together um, that'll be quite tall as you can see up among the trees. This is Sango and Jelani. They are two male Transvaal lions from South Africa. And they um, came here to Austin Zoo uh, April 12th of last year. They were previously living at Reed Park Zoo in Tucson. And um, as they got a little older, they were no longer getting along with their father. So they, um, the folks at Reed Park started trying to find um, a new home for them and we had space available so we they will um, be here and they they're um, definitely bonded they love to play with e with each other and the best time to come and see them is in the mornings because they run and they play and they frolic and these are the only two lions that I've had while um, that Austin Zoo has had while I've been here uh, that like water. So you see that we have a pool in their yard and they like to play with their toys in the pool and splash the water. Jelani in particular likes likes to do that. We do a, a tortoise talk every day. We've just expanded their habitat. Of, we've more than doubled it in size. Um, it used to end right where you see the green ball. That used to be an old fence line. And we've replaced the old fencing with new fencing, added the rock walls and stuff. And so now the tortoises can go for a very long trek all the way around. This is Sauron. Sauron is um, a very big sulcata tortoise. And we will uh, be replacing all of the fencing on this side um, to make it match the other side and also giving these guys more space. Leroy is, Leroy has metabolic bone disease. He was started life out as a pet, was privately owned, and uh, was not fed a proper diet growing up, so that has made his 
um, bones misshapen, so he moves differently than uh, a normal spider monkey would. But he's not in any discomfort and um, has a great place to climb and play and has a little roommate um, who I think Stumpy must be inside right now, who's a retired laboratory research primate. Um, Leroy was privately owned as a pet until one day when he uh, decided he would have a little fun and do something different while his owners went to work. He went through their house and turned on every faucet and let them run. When they came home, they had quite the flood in their home and decided that having a primate as a pet was not such a good idea after all.